Can everyone hear me? Oh, guys, the others, Christian, Rodrigo, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thanks so much. I'm sorry, guys, for this long delay, but we were having some technical issues here. But thanks, God, we're here. So um, we're going to start class another day, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. And probably, um, you know, uh, Zoom is having a lot of problems right now. So, but can you hear me clearly? Todos me escuchan claro. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Good, thanks so much. So guys, as I was saying, today we're gonna to start another class. I hope you had a good weekend, that you rest and that you took care of yourselves. So today, as usual, I'm gonna start by asking you questions about the previous topic. In this case, what I'm going to ask you is about the last class. What do you guys remember about the last class? What did we see? Does any one of you remember anything or you forgot it completely during the weekend? Um, I remember the last class teacher mm -hmm. used WH question. W For example, who's, who, what, when, which, why, how, and where. Okay, uh, I don't know if I misunderstood what you said. Did you say who or did you said who? Who? Who, right? So, because the pronunciation that would be who. Now, um, let's see. Let me just double check what we have. So right now, guys, I would like to listen to you uh, saying or trying like about your weekend. So uh, we're gonna try, we're gonna try to verify um, how well can you speak or how well can you say things when someone asks you about something. For example, the question that I'm going to ask you right now, and this is going to be participation forever, it is, how was your weekend? What did you do? So we're going to start by Rocio. Rocio, can you try to tell me or explain me or give me something in English, of course, about how your weekend was? I just We're just going to do this practice right now because we want you to speak a little bit more the language. So that's the reason why. We're going to have more uh, practices like this. Why? Because even though if you don't know how to say something, si no saben como decir algo, we're going to see how we can help you to do that. Okay? So, Rocio, we're going to start with you. What can you tell me about that, Rocio? I... Eh, y, y en pasado, teacher. I don't know. It's like we're we're talking, we're talking about the weekend, so obviously that is gonna be in past. But just tell me whatever comes to your mind, anything, whatever. I just want to listen the way you say things. Um. I. I was. You were okay. Go the go the beach. Okay. Go to the beach. Uh, uh, for um, the birthday. Mm -hmm. My my son. Your son. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So that's it. This was told? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much for trying to do that. So the others, those demás, get ready. So Christian, can you try to say or to do the same thing? We're just verifying if you can say some things. Because you know, no es lo mismo solo estar escuchando que intentar hablar, right? So that's why we're going to try to do that. So Christian. Yes. 
<coughs> é... About my weekend. About your weekend. Okay. Uh, my weekend is fine. Uh, the Saturday uh, <clears throat> I work in um, two half a day or oh, hasta mediodía. The half of the day. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, uh, más, um, en la tarde, ¿cómo se dice? How do we say tarde? Por in la the tarde. Afternoon. Eh, in the afternoon, uh, I was uh, in my house, uh, okay. sleeping uh, a moment. Okay, for a uh, moment. Then, uh, uh, um, I escuchando uh, music, ¿cómo se dice? You were listening to music. Uh, is there listening, listening uh, music? Uh -huh. Okay. And Sunday, uh, I was uh, haciendo, Doing? haciendo las tareas. The, the homework. Okay. Doing, excited. I doing the homework. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Christian. That was good. I mean, at least you're trying. Al menos trataste. So, Rodrigo, okay. let's go with you, Rodrigo. What do you okay. have to say about your week? Okay, um, Saturday I was uh, go at park because I like go uh, running every Saturday. Okay. In the afternoon, in the afternoon uh, I was work from five o'clock p.m. to okay. nine o'clock p.m. because okay. I work in a call center. Uh, I work from home. Okay. In, in Sunday, I was go at the stadium with my friend. Okay, that's good. All right, nice, excellent. Thanks so much. So you already know how to work at a call center is. So you have an idea what's that about. So Georgina, let us listen to you, Georgina. How was your weekend, Georgina? Good evening. Good evening. Um, <clears throat> in the weekend, I um in morning work. Mm -hmm. You work, okay. And studying in the afternoon. Okay. In the, is that it? This is todo, or you have something else to say? Um, stop. Okay. <laughs> Luis Montano, let's go ahead and listen to you, Luis. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, un poco de lo que hice el fin de semana más lo de ahora. Sal, sal, oh, sal, it's... Hay, hay okay. Hi. Okay. Saturday, I was a uh, play soccer mm -hmm. in the afternoon. In the afternoon, okay. Uh, later, I was my family part on to it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
nieto va? Domingo. On Sunday. On Sunday, I work eh, in, like, in agriculture. In agriculture. Okay. Este, me, I was eh, eh, party. You, you were what? I was eh, in the party. In the a una party? Fiesta. Fiesta, oh, in, no, the, fiesta. in a party. Okay. Okay. Mm, Monday mm. in the world sugar company. Okay. Eh, for um luego me puse al día con, con la plataforma. <laughs> With the platform. Okay. So, guys, I do appreciate the fact that even though you don't know what to say, aunque les cuesta probably a little bit to express yourself in English, and that's completely understandable, but at least you try. El punto de esto es tratar perder el miedo a equivocarnos. Nos vamos a equivocar. That's okay. That's okay. We are going to make mistakes, every one of us. Why? Because that's the point of learning English. Esa es la parte de aprender inglés. You will have some issues because you won't be able or you won't know how to say some things. No vamos a saber cómo decir algunas cosas. But at least we try. That's the, that's the best thing that we can do. So we're going to try to do more activities like these ones this week in esta semana. So I'm going to ask you questions about what did you do and things like that so you can have an idea of what you can say. Okay. So thank you so much for sharing with us a little bit of what you did during the weekend. So uh, last class, guys, we saw a little bit about WH questions. So can you guys tell me how do we use whose? What does whose mean? ¿Qué significa whose? De quien. De quien. De quien, exactly. So when we say why, how do I have to answer? Si alguien me pregunta why, ¿cómo respondo? Because. Because, excellent. Now, how do we use what? ¿En qué situaciones you uso what? Para objetos. For objects. Okay. What else? That's it? Just for objects? Names. Names. Okay. Activities. Activities. Okay. Now, how do I use the WH question which? How do I use that? For two options. For two options. Exactly. For example, uh, if I have, let's suppose that I have uh, pupusas of um, revueltas and I have pupusas de frijol en queso. So how would you make a question? ¿Cómo formarían una pregunta de esas dos opciones? Can someone tell me? If I have pupusas de revueltas y pupusas de frijol con queso. Can you create an, uh, a question with those two options that I just gave you? Do you have any idea how to say that? <clears throat> uh, which no idea? Pupusas do you prefer? Which one? Say it again, Christian. Uh, which pupusas uh, do you prefer? Uh, Excellent. Which pupusas chichar, do you prefer? Uh -huh. You prefer, uh -huh. yeah, which or, or queso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. So the question is, which pupusas do you prefer? So the person is going to say, I prefer the revueltas. So, or I prefer mm -hmm. el frijol con queso, either or. So, but that's that's good. So for today, guys, today's class is going to be a little different. Because today we're going to see something about uh, there is a 
are. Have you ever heard about it? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado de there is and there are? Before, I mean. Have you ever heard about that before? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay, so you have an idea. What, what's the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa para ti there is and there are? Do you have any idea? Um, there is is for a singular okay and there are is for plural excellent so you have an idea about what we're going to talk about so today we're going to talk about that and we're also going to try to remind you a little bit about it because we're going to have some practices at the end which are going to hold those two so we have there is and there are. What is the difference? We have obviously a very big difference. For example, when we use there is, it's because we are talking about one thing. One thing, just one thing. So we're talking about singular. And we say, how do we say this, Rodrigo? Can you help me reading this sentence? There is a cell phone on the table. There is a cell phone on the table. So remember, there is and there are in Spanish, they both mean I. So when we say there is a cell phone on the table, no estamos diciendo hay de dolor, sino que hay de haber. So we say, hay un teléfono en la mesa o sobre la mesa. So there is is going to have the same meaning as there are. Los dos van a significar lo mismo, hay. With the difference, the one is going to be for singular and the other for plural. Now, Christian, help me reading this one, please. There are apples on the table. There are apples on the table. Thanks so much. Now we're going to move on, and we're going to have a small... Uh, Definition about there is and there are expressions, so I will need Rosita's help. Rocio? Yes, teacher. Me podría repetir la pregunta, por favor? Just help me reading, please. Just to read this part, the small definition. Okay. The expression there is there are are you say to indicate that something exists or mm -hmm. is in a certain le location okay so as it says there we're going to use the expression there is and there are when we want to indicate that something exists for example if i say hay tres carros en el parqueo I will say there are three cars in the parking lot. So we're saying that those three cars exist. So every single time that we want to mention or indicate the existence of something or anything or a certain location, we are going to use there is and there are. So here we have the affirmative, the negative, and the interrogative ones that we can use with there is. For example, we have the affirmative. I would like to listen to you, Georgina. Help me with the affirmative form. Georgina? Hi. Help me reading the affirmative form. Mm, there is a computer on the des desk. Okay, there is a computer on the desk. All right, now we go to the negative. What is the difference between the positive and the negative? Here, guys, the only difference is going to be the word not. To make it negative, we are only going to add the word not after the verb to be. So 
Tell me, Luis Montano, reading the negative form. Negative form. There is no uh, pillow mm -hmm. on the bed. There is no a pillow on. There is no a pillow on the bed. Okay. Now, how do we make questions? Very easy. In this case, for us to create a question using there is, simply what we're going to do is that we are only going to move the verb to be at the beginning, then the word there, plus the complement, and obviously the question mark at the end. Because if you do not have the question mark, obviously that's not gonna be a question. Another thing, that I told you about questions. When we ask a question, we need to make the intonation of a question. Why? Because we have the same problem in Spanish. Have you ever been in a situation when someone asks you about, like in Spanish, in Español tenemos a veces situaciones en las que alguien probably, probablemente te preguntó, ¿me estás afirmando o me estás preguntando? So when someone asks you a question like that, cuando alguien le pregunta algo así, it's because this person didn't understand if you were asking a question or if you were simply saying something. So the same thing happens in English. So what we have to do, not to confuse people, we have to make the intonation of the question. And what is that intonation? Can you try to do the intonation, Rodrigo? and help me reading the interrogative form. Okay. Is there a park there? Okay, let's see. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Now let's listen to you, Christian. Can you do the same thing? Interrogative form. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there a park there? Good. Now, let me listen to you, Rocio. No lo escuché como pregunta. I know that question. No, I mean, I just want you to, to repeat this, to read it. Is there a part there? Okay. Thank you so much. Now, Georgina, can you do the same thing? Is there a park there? Okay, good. Luis Montano? Is there a park? Is there a park there? Okay. There we have to be careful and we have to pay attention a little bit on that. Because we have to say, is there a park there? Or we can say, is there a park there? So we can have a different, different intonations, but at the end, the intonation of our question is going to be uh, very fundamental. So we have to pay attention to that. So uh, I'm not going to stop that much because I know that you have an idea of what we're talking about. So we're just going to move on, okay? Now, we are going to pass to there are and as you know, we have once again, affirmative, we have negative form and we have interrogative form. So which is going to be pretty much the same thing. What is going to change? Actually is only going to change that in this case, we are talking about plural. We are not longer talking about singular. In this case, we're talking about the plural. So uh, Christian, can you help me reading the affirmative form? Okay. There are three chairs in the classroom. Say it again. There are three chairs in the classroom. Thank you so much. Now, let's see. Can you repeat the same thing, Rodrigo? Um, affirmative? Yeah, the affirmative one. Okay. 
there are three chairs in the classroom. Oh, no, excuse me, in the classroom. Repeat it again. Okay, there are three chairs in the classroom. Okay, now Rocio, repeat the same thing again. There, there are, perdón, perdón, there are three chairs in the classroom. Mm, repeat it again, please. There are three chairs in the classroom. Okay, Georgina, repeat the same thing, please. There are three chairs in the classroom. Okay, Luis Montano, can you repeat the same thing? There are there are three chairs three chairs in the classroom. Okay, guys. Thank you so much, Luis. Uh, Luis Chavez, are you are you still having situations with your microphone? Well, I guess you're still having a problem with your microphone. Well. What I was going to tell you guys, lo que les iba a decir is that here, alguno de ustedes no les entendí que dijeran número tres, sino que yo les entendí árbol. Dijeron, hay árbol silla en el salón de clase. So what is the difference in pronunciation between árbol y tres? Solamente dos de ustedes hicieron la correcta pronunciación del número tres. When we say tres, we make the TH sound. Hacemos el sonido de la TH que es, which is? Three. A three, correct. We say three. Three, con Z, three. And this one is tree. Tree, three. Tree, three. So we pay attention in that pronunciation why because it's very important imagine that you're trying to say imagínese que usted habla con un americano y le dice tengo tres hermanos but instead of saying three el americano le va a entender tengo árbol hermanos so that's going to be you know like weird so we have to pay attention to that and try to make the right pronunciation of the number three, okay? Now we're gonna move on to the negative form and I would like to listen to you, uh, Christian. Okay. There are not orange in the fries. Oranges in the fridge. Orange. Oranges. Oranges in the fridge. Because we have the okay. plural, porque tenemos el plural. Only, si no tuviéramos la S, would you, would you say orange? But we have the letter S. Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay. Now, let's listen. There are to not Georgina. oranges in the fridge. Yes. Good. Thank you, Christian. Georgina, can you help me doing the same thing? Okay. There are not orange oranges in the fridge. Oranges fridge. in the fridge. 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 Okay. Repeat it again, please. There are there are not oranges in the fridge. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Luis Montano, can you repeat the same thing? There, there are no oranges in the fridge. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're gonna go with Rodrigo. There are not oranges in the fridge. In the fridge, thank you. And we're gonna finish with uh, Rocio. There are not orange in the fridge. Oranges. Oranges, because we're talking about plural. Oranges. Okay, good. Now we're going to move on to the interrogative form. And here we have, are there two smartphones? Are there two smartphones? 
are there two smartphones? So that's pretty much the same thing. Now, do you have an idea how to answer those questions? Tienen una idea de cómo responder esas preguntas? For example, uh, let's see, Rodrigo, if I ask you, are there two smartphones? What would you mm, No, there are not. Excellent. No, there are smartphones. Good. Now we're going to move on to the next part. And here we have these things, guys. We need to pay attention to that. Why? Because there is when we make either the negative or the positive, even the positive form has a contraction. What does it mean? It means that I, instead of saying there is, I can say there's, there's. So we have the example here and we have, there's a good song on the radio. There's a good song on the radio. Or I can say there is a good song on the radio. So either or we have the contraction for the positive form. With there are, that is going to be a little bit different. Why? Because there are cannot be contracted. Why? Because of phonetic situation. Por cosas de fonética, we cannot contract. Why? Because if we, if we contracted, si lo contractáramos, like, just, you know, just to see how it sounds, it will be like there are there so it doesn't sound well and it will be a little bit difficult even for native speakers we cannot contract there are so we say there are nine cats on the roof there are nine cats on the roof so that's that's pretty much what we're going to do so we got to pay attention to those two things now we're going to move on here and I will need your help because this one is the negative form contraction. Esta es la forma contractada de la negativa. For example, we can say there isn't instead of saying there is not. There aren't is going to be equal to there are not. There isn't, there aren't. Now, let's see. Uh, Christian. Help me please reading the green part, all the green part here. Go ahead. Okay. There's a computer. There's an exercise bike. There are a computer, uh, ex excuse me. There are uh, some DVDs. Some DVDs, thank you so much. Now, uh, Rocio, help me reading the yellow part. The yellow part, and of course the answers, which is this small green part and this small part. Okay. Is there a telescope? Okay. Are there any bedrooms? Okay. Now read read these, which is, which are the answer, la respuestas. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there are. Okay. No, there isn't. Mm -hmm. No, there aren't. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Now, Rodrigo, help me with the red part, the negative ones. Okay, there isn't a TV, mm -hmm. there aren't any beds. Okay, good, thank you so much. Now, I guess uh, that you don't have questions, but in cases there, do you have any questions so far or is everything pretty understandable? Because I mean, I know that you guys have an idea of what we're talking about and you know what we're saying. So it's, we're not going to uh, focus that much on that. 
So what we're gonna do is that we're just going to move forward to the to that because you already know what we're doing. But in case you have any question, let me know. En caso que alguien tenga una pregunta, ask the questions. So does any one of you have any questions so far or is it clear so far? Well, I'm gonna take that as uh, clear. So now, Christian, I will ask you to help me reading first the formula, read the formula, and then you read the example. Only the first one, only number one. Okay. Um, there is a book on the desk. Mm. I need you to read, first of all, the formula. Primero necesito que me leas la formula and then the example. Do it again. Ah, okay. There is must singular plus, moon. Plus. Plus. Uh-huh. Plus singular noun. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, there is a book on the desk. Excellent, thank you very much. Now we move on with Rocio. There are plus plural nouns. Mm -hmm. There are books on the desk. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're gonna move with Georgina. There is glass and countable noun. For example, there is some milk in the bridge. In the fridge. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're going to move on with uh, Luis Montano. The, there is a Plus singular noun. Mm -hmm. the, there is there is no there a pen is. on cola. There isn't. There isn't mm -hmm. a pen on the table. On the table. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna move on with Rodrigo. Okay. There aren't plus plural noun. Example, there aren't any pens here. Okay, thank you so much. Now we're gonna move on once again with uh, Christian. Okay. Yeah. This one here. Question, question. No, no, no. This uh, okay. Okay, perfect. There is a plus uncountable mm -hmm. noun. Uncountable. For example, uncountable noun. Mm -hmm. For example, there isn't any juice in the fridge. Excellent. Now we'll move on with uh, this part. It's going to be for Rocio. This one and the question. Let's go, Rocio. There is a cat on the chair. Mm -hmm. Is there a cat on the chair? Excellent. That was good. Now we move on with Georgina. Georgina? Well, I don't know if she's there or not. Hello? Um, hi. Jess, tell me just reading this example here. These two. Uh, there is 
there are cats on in, in the sofa. On the sofa, okay. And the other? Are there cats in the sofa? Excellent, good. Now we're going to move on with Rodrigo. Rodrigo, help me with these two examples that we have. First of all, I need you to tell me or to read the formula and then you read the two examples. Okay. Uh, how many plus plural noun mm -hmm. plus are there mm -hmm. uh, in, in question mark? Excellent. Uh, example, example, how many students are there in your class? Mm -hmm. In other example, how many days are there in February? February. February. Good. Thank you so much. Now, Luis Montano, we're going to go with the contractions. Vamos a empezar con las contracciones, Luis. So in this case, I will read it first. Yo lo leo primero, and then you repeat them all. Luego lo repites tú, y todos lo van a repetir. So there's, there is. There's not, there is not. There isn't, there is not. There aren't, there are not. Now, your turn. There is? No, there's. There? There is. Mm -hmm. There is no? Mm -hmm. There is no? Mm -hmm. Uh, there is there is there is no no there isn't there isn't there is no el otro mm -hmm. there are mm -hmm. there are no okay now we move on with Christian okay there's mm -hmm. there is Mm -hmm. There's not, mm -hmm. there is not. Okay. There isn't, there is not. Okay. There aren't, there are not. Okay, now we move on with Rocio. Okay. There is, there's, there is. Permítame, teacher, voy a ampliar lo que casi no veo. Ok. Ok. There is not. There is not. Ok. There isn't. There is not. Ok. There aren't. There are not. Thank you so much. Now we're going to go with Georgina. There's, mm -hmm. there is, mm -hmm. there's not, mm -hmm. there is not, there isn't, there is not, mm -hmm. there aren't, there are not. Thank you so much. And we finish with Rodrigo. Okay. There's, there is. There's not, there is not. Mm -hmm. There isn't, there is not. Okay. There aren't, there are not. Okay, good. Thanks so much. Now, guys, we're going to move on to the practice. And for the practice, let me just check. I will stop sharing right now. Teacher. Do you have any question? Uh, yes, teacher, I have a question. Okay, what's the question you have? Um, for example, uh, there isn't and there aren't. Mm -hmm. um, no, excuse me. There's not and there, mm, there isn't. 
eh, sería lo mismo. Yes. Okay, aparece como there is not. Yeah, it's the same thing. Es lo mismo. If you say there's not or there isn't, es lo mismo. Why? ¿Qué es lo que sucede aquí? What, oh, okay. What's the issue here? Aquí únicamente es el verbo to be contractado con there. Y aquí es el verbo to be contractado mm -hmm. con not. But at the end of... Okay. Al final, ambos significan lo mismo. There is not. Okay, thank you, teacher. Good. Now, if there's no... Someone else has any other question or we're clear so far? Good. We're going to solo share. Una consulta. Yes, Christian. Eh, me confunde un poquito siempre en las preguntas cuando utilizamos. Bueno, esto es de lo anterior, pero de las prácticas anteriores. Uh -huh. Cuando usamos how o cuando utilizamos has. Have. For example, we're going to use have. have. Uh -huh. Lo vamos a utilizar have cuando. Uh, Estamos hablando del pronombre personal. For example, I have, you have, we have, they have. And have. Solamente lo voy a usar para tercera persona. Es ah. El mismo verbo. Si sí, el mismo verbo, but according to the subject, dependiendo al sujeto, el verbo va a cambiar. So, si utilizas uh -huh. tercera persona, tú vas a decir, she has, he has, it has. Pero al final es el mismo verbo. Only with differences according to the personal pronoun you are using. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, good. So, we're going to go to the practice. Nos vamos a mover a la práctica, chicos. And we're going to, vamos a cubrir los minutos. Eh, Y no pudimos, uh, due to the, you know, to the time, to the technical things that we had here with Zoom. As far as I know, eh, no soy la única persona teniendo problemas. I know that some of you, eh, vi por ahí en el grupo que algunas personas were saying that they were not able to get into the, to the Zoom. Uh, sí, but it has... Yeah, I know, I understand. It's like... Uh, Está, está teniendo muchos problemas por la nueva actualización de Zoom. So we're going to try to resolve. Vamos a tratar de ver cómo, cómo se resuelve eso. Or who do we get in contact with? Alguien. We're going to try to, to do our best. So let me just share the screen. And here we have. This is the practice that we're going to have. So please take a screenshot. Tomen una captura de pantalla and let me know so I can move to number two. Así me muevo a la número dos. Can I move to number two? Yes. 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 Okay, here we have number two. And the last one that we're going to have. If this was going to be a conversation, but we're going to do this instead. Aquí solo vamos, we're only going to uh, select. Solo vamos a seleccionar. Okay. So Teacher, la anterior no podía hacer la captura. Okay, let me just move. Here we have. Thank you. Okay. So. We're going to go to the breakout rooms and we're going to try to work together.
So actually, we're just going to do, let's see, we're five. So we're going to try to do, vamos a hacer quizás un solo grupo, so everyone can help each other. Because if not, yes, we're going to do a whole group. All right. So please go ahead and join the group. Teacher, a mí me sacó el grupo al hacer el cambio. Me sacó la aplicación. Ok, eh, ya te metía de nuevo al grupo. I don't know, no sé si recibiste el link.
Did you finish the exercises, Christian? Uh, no. You did Only uh, practice one. Okay, only number one, okay. What about you, Luis? The same thing, lo mismo, only number one? Hi. Did you finish the exercises? Terminaron los ejercicios? No. No, you didn't. Okay, so we're just waiting for your classmates to join us because I see that they're still, algunos están todavía allí en el group. So I just waiting for them to. Ya lo iba a sacar y estábamos en la número two. Number two, okay. All right, so I see that some of you are back. All right, so I know that you didn't finish the exercises. Am I correct? So we're gonna yes. try we're gonna try to do that tomorrow in the class that we have for tomorrow. So thank you guys for your patience for waiting for me when the internet was not working and the application was not working. So I do appreciate the fact that you were here. Thank you very much, guys, also for attending to the class. That is going to be all for tonight. See you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night. I see you. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.